President Holland's leadership has been crucial for Utah Valley University. When he was named, it was a brand new university. But what he's really done is make it a university not only in name, but in reality. And one of the things that he's emphasized is becoming a serious university. And that fits him very well because uh, he himself is a very serious scholar. And I've been impressed that as busy as he is as president, he has continued his own scholarship. And I think that set a great example for the faculty and for students that uh, scholarship is important. We got involved with Matt Holland, and then we got involved with UVU. Um, and I don't mean that in like a negative way, right? But, but we met him and, 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 and we felt like we could, we could trust that, that he was um, genuine. You know, a lot of people have approached us for resources. Right, we get a lot of people coming and saying, hey, could you help us with this and that? And the thing that was amazing was he really wanted people to be involved and, and resources are necessary, right? I mean, that's just how, how, how the world works, right? If you wanna go do a Center for Autism or all those types of things, but resources are meaningless without a vision. And he painted this vision and, and we believed enough in him uh, to go and do that. I think he just has that f genuine fatherly figure about everybody that he comes in contact with that, that he wants to make sure their children get the, the best of life and he's so effective with that. It's just one of his natural abilities to be able to see people and become close to them. Doesn't matter what walk of life they came from. Um, he's just a genuine person that cares. President Holland has really put UVU on the map uh, in not only Utah, but in the, in the United States and in some ways internationally. Uh, one of the things he's really championed is the dual mission of Utah Valley University. And uh, I think it was really uh, an important part of his legacy to really help uh, further the, the impression and the value of the dual mission. President Holland, uh, he never makes it about himself. It is always about the community, about the university, about the student, uh, whatever it is, he gets you excited, he is trustworthy, he brings you in and you just know that, I, I guess I just can't describe it, you just know it's what you're supposed to do. I probably get miss it more than a lot of people because I don't get that close to too many people. Yeah, you know, we sit down and we've talked a lot of things that we want to do, and uh, uh, and I had some great as aspirations that I wanted him to go to, and I had his wife convinced that uh, <laughs> that she was going to do this, and uh, and uh, you know he'll be great where he is because just he has that ability. Not everyone has that ability to do it, but he's one of those unique individuals. As the Hollands moved to North Carolina, where of course he went to school at Duke and I understand they started their family there, so they have a little history there. Uh, having been president of Utah Valley for nearly a decade, I'm sure that they will always bleed green. President Holland, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your friendship. Paige, thank you for your friendship. From the Nellisons, we love you. Our kids love you. Thank you for making our dreams come true. It's not goodbye, it's... Uh, our relationship will go on, um, but his vision for this university will go on.